Hey everyone, it's Silva and Matt, and we are in South Paris, Maine today on the Viking Trail. <laughs> um, it's just a 3.2 mile, sort of like a lollipop trail. Uh, we wanted to just get out, and I'm excited today not only to be outside, but I have a new piece of gear that I'm gonna show you. I'm really excited about. So here's the back of the high school. I think the trail skirts this and goes down the other side. I see the sign says Riverside Trail, but all trails calls it the Viking Trail, because of course the mascot for the Oxford Hills is Viking, so I think that's why. Okay, honestly, I stole that info from Matt. He knew that and I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So yesterday we went back to Rockport and we went to um, the main sport outfitters and I was eyeing these boots that I had was looking at the last time I was there and well, I bought them. So, <laughs> so I have the Ultra Lone Peak All-Weather Mids. And I thought I'd give you a few details about them in this video. And then once I've worn them a few times, I can give you a better review. But I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, there's a cool boardwalk coming up that I'm excited about, only it's covered in snow. But I'll show you anyway. <laughs> so here it is. This is the boardwalk and it goes on for a little bit. Only it's snow covered right now, but it's still fun. Oh, here you can see the boardwalk <laughs> for a minute. stairs. So yesterday we went to Maine Sports Outfitters in Rockport and I was there a few weeks ago and I was eyeing these boots and at the time I decided not to get them but I went back yesterday and I got them. <laughs> so uh, a few weeks ago or maybe longer I don't know time kind of mushes together I did a video which I'll link here if you haven't already seen it ultra lone peaks versus timps in that video I mentioned maybe trying something different um, but since then decided that I really like ultras because of the wide toe box um, and my bunions and it really is just really comfortable that way so I decided to try super feet inserts and see if that would give me the extra support I needed so I also picked up a pair of green super feet inserts yesterday so I thought in this video I'd give you a little details about my new shoe purchase and then um, after I've used them a few times I could give you a, a more full review of them. But for now in this video I'm going to include a few details and show you a little more scenery. 
So some things about my new boots. They weigh 12 ounces, which is really pretty light for winter hiking boots. Uh, they are all weather, so they're waterproof. And typically I only do waterproof in the winter. So during the, the other three seasons, I'd rather have trail runners that are not waterproof. But hiking in Maine in the winter, I like to keep my feet dry. And they are red and pink, so they're pretty. Uh, I know that doesn't matter, but I like them. So I bought, like I said, the green super feet inserts to go in them because I did talk to Zach uh, at the Outfitter, who's a triple crowner, and he wears ultras, and he also has a pair of these, and he said um, these with the inserts usually last him five to 800 miles. So that's not so, so bad compared to my Timps that blew out in 300. So the price point, which is what I know you're all dying to know, is um, $170 for the boots and $50 for the inserts. So I don't think you have to change the inserts every time you change the shoes though, so hopefully they'll last a little longer. Ah, poop, look out for the poop. So I'm really, really excited about these. I'll give you more details after I've you know, worn them on several trips and some longer ones, but I think they're gonna be a great winter hiking addition. All right, so here's the sign I was looking for, Viking Trail. This is 1.2 mile loop, but I think that's because we combined um, the Viking Trail and the River Trail to get 3.2 miles instead. So we're just gonna figure out it goes two different ways here, so I have to do a little figuring. Let's see which way we go. I think we go down. <laughs> Alright, so teaser for all of you. Um, my next video that'll come out about a week from now is going to include my upcoming hike, hiking plans, backpacking trips, and when I'm returning to the Appalachian Trail. So we are almost back to the car, getting there, and I thought I'd let you know So my opinion so far. Shoes are holding out great, the spikes um, don't hurt my feet over the shoes, like sometimes I try to put my spikes over my trail runners and the spikes kind of curl up the shoe and hurt my foot, but that is not the case with these, there's enough stability in them that that doesn't happen. Uh, they've kept my feet warm, it's not that cold, it's only 25 degrees. But my feet have been warm the whole time, even when I had to stop for a minute. So, so far, so good. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. Had a great time. Glad I get to try out my new boots. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about them. I haven't used them for too long yet, so I'll do my best to answer them. I will do a more detailed video soon. And again, stay tuned for my next video to give you all the updates on my plans for this year and when I'm returning to the Appalachian Trail. So stay tuned for that. Hope you all have a fantastic week. Hope you get out to explore nature, get a little fresh air, and we'll see you in the next video.